The rising fuel costs, a high COE prices and a shortage of drivers. Issues that are hitting the school bus industry hard. It's forced some operators to raise prices and pushed some parents to opt for public transport instead. Claudia Lim reports. It's 1pm, nearly the end of a school day. Sundra Siguran is getting his van ready to pick up about a dozen children from a nearby school. But this is a trip that's increasingly expensive to make. The cost of fuel has gone up. When I bought this vehicle about 10 years ago, uh, one full tank I pump diesel about $60. Now the price has gone up to almost 200 plus. We also cover our you know, road tax, insurance and car park also very high. Mrs Sundra is a one-man show, subcontracted for the job. He works with bigger players like Million Bus Transport to service the same school. But bigger doesn't necessarily mean better. Million Bus Transport says it had to raise prices by 5% to keep the business going. Demand is also slowing, but there were 36 buses servicing the school three years ago. There's now only 25. And the number of students taking their buses has fallen by about one third. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the other end of the school, Parents and helpers are taking their little ones home by public transport. They say it's convenient, but also more affordable than taking the school bus. The way they, they price is uh, per, per children, per kid. Yeah, so let's say if I have two children, that would be like a double cost. One well, reason why you want to take the bus is cost, plus they wake up really early to, to get the bus and come back a lot later. And the most pressing problem for all of private bus companies is the lack of drivers. Most of our jobs are done during the morning and evening peak hours and no jobs during in between from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. This deters Singaporeans to join our industry. Even we have raised the salary package to attract them. 70% of the drivers uh, our members have are more than 50 years and above. So if nothing is done, we'll have fewer buses drivers uh, in years to come. The association says it hopes the government might consider allowing more non-Singaporeans to drive the buses. It fears that if nothing is done, there would be fewer drivers not just to take children to and from school, but also workers to factories and offices.